What's up everybody? Let's show you how to do a Euro nymphing rig. I've got my nine foot rod here, four weight. Okay. So you normally have a leader tied from your guideline here and your leader would be about seven to 10 feet. I cut mine down to about three, three and a half feet because we're just gonna be staying in the river. We're not doing any crazy long casts. I'm gonna do a clinch knot here. We've got videos on how to do those knots. That's not what this one's about. So if you wanna check those out, hit like, hit subscribe, check out the channel. Tons of videos. Okay. Clinch knot looks solid. Make sure we're good. It's that thicker part of the leader, so a little bit more difficult. Okay. Got the tag, so we've got guideline, three feet, indicator. Next you're gonna need 5X fluorocarbon. I'm gonna take about 18 inches or so. Take that, and we're gonna go through the same eye hole, but we're not gonna touch the uh, the other knot. I'm gonna do another clinch knot, so you can see this knot will be off the top and off the side. This one's gonna be off the side of the eye hole here, and I'll show you once it's complete. We're doing this in real time, no editing, so you can see exactly how long it takes, what you should expect. Sometimes you gotta retie a knot or two. No big deal. Just take your time, enjoy it. Pour up your favorite drink, water, coffee, something else. While I'm doing this, if you want to support the channel, you can buy a t-shirt. Hit the link in the bio. Keep this stuff coming. And we're gonna have a whole video tomorrow from the GoPro while we're on the river, and that's why we're tying up today. So here's that. Nice clinch knot. Tighten up the tag end. Give it a pull. I'd rather find out now if it's gonna break than when a fish bites it. Okay, so let's update. We got guideline three, three and a half feet until our strike indicator, which we tied on the clinch knot. Then from that other side of the Indicator, we got about 18 inches of 5x tippet. This is where if you're doing a hopper dropper, you can do a bigger one. I'm gonna do a little bit smaller here. Another nymph, but should be a nice attractor. And when you're doing these, you want to put them hook up, so that way when they're bouncing off the bottom, they're less likely to catch and snag something, because you do want them down there but not at the cost of losing your lures or constantly taking gunk and algae off there. Okay. So let's see if we can get this. I was trying to do it lefty for the camera. It didn't work. Okay. First try if it goes through. Nope. That's okay. Alright. Clinch the knot on there. Drill, cut that tag end. Okay. So now we're going to go back to our 5X. We don't need nearly as long of one this time, only about 10 inches. Close. Okay. All right. 
if you're getting value out of this, hit like, hit subscribe. Gets the algorithm going, gets me into other people's feeds. If you want to support the channel, or if you just like good t-shirts, hit the link in the bio. All right, so we've got our first nymph tied on here from the eye. Now we're going to add another piece of tippet from the bottom here because we are going to put one below. We can even do three, which we might do, but I might just stick for two right now. And then when you get down to the river, you can kind of make that assessment if you want to add the third one or if you want to adjust in any way. But Okay. Hopefully I'm making a goofy face while I'm making these knots for your entertainment. Okay. I'm just cutting those tag ends. Make no excuses. Okay, so let's do an update. So guideline, three, three and a half feet, strike indicator tied on. From there, another tied on 5X tippet, about 18 inches to our first fly. Got a bead head on this one. Then we did about 10 inches behind it of tippet. So by the time we tie it, it's gonna be about down to six to eight, which is perfect. We want it right behind there trailing. And we're gonna use a nice one with a good shimmer to it. Oh yeah. And we're gonna keep that hook end up. And for the tippet, I'm using five X because we're gonna catch big fish um, so I can't use like 6x or further, but, uh, 4x, they're, they're really able to see it. They're smart fish. So, uh, 5x seems to be the lucky number on this river. We're out in Deckers, Colorado. We will be on the South Platte River, I believe it is. We've also caught some huge, huge rainbow trout on the Blue River, which is in Silverthorne, Colorado. It's about an hour drive from Denver. Straight up I-70. If you know your uh, ski resorts, you've probably seen it. Just on the way to Vail. All that good stuff right around Breckenridge, Copper Mountain. All the goodies. Alright. So, we've got the guideline. Three, three and a half feet indicator. First fly after about 18 inches. There we go. About seven inches, eight inches behind that. Got our second fly. I'm only gonna do two right now. Um, and then I think the river's gonna be a little low tomorrow, so I'm not gonna tie on a weight right now. But if I did, I would put it pretty close, maybe about six to eight inches above that first fly in between the fly and the indicator. But I'm gonna wait to see then if I need that on the river. All right, it's been a great time. Again, link in bio for a t-shirt. Like and subscribe. Check out the channel. See you in the next one.